Hello and welcome to another modelling video. This is Alan from the Mokonaman at YouTube with another model video. Hunting around for airbrush parts on eBay, I found this uh, uh, pre-airbrush water filter and it was only about $253 US. And it's very similar to the one that um, Airfix is, not Airfix, Sparmax is selling and also Mr. Hobby with the smaller ones they've got. They're normally uh, quite expensive. So what we got is a uh, plastic shell, an air valve, a bit of a filter, and in and out put line. And supposedly you just attach your airbrush uh, directly here, hold it, and the airline goes directly there. Let's uh, see the fit. So the plastic thread you have to be very careful with. It will crack over time. Just make sure we thread that correctly. First we thread the uh, hose onto the plastic thread. It will crack easily, so not too tight. Just a reasonable amount where it bites in. The top metal bit, the airbrush screws in. Turn on the air source. There is no sounds of leaking. Uh, your airbrush should still have a water trap, though sometimes water does bypass that trap and go in the hose. All this is is a last line of defense to make sure it does not go into your airbrush whatsoever. So it builds up in the reservoir and needs to go through the filter. So you can see that it does not hamper uh, the air pressure whatsoever. And if you need to bleed it, you just push your finger down, tilt the water there, and it just blows out. Very, very, very clever. So we're hooked up to a proper compressor. No air leaks. Doesn't leak when you do the jet bubble technique. Doesn't flow backwards due to the filter. The bleed works really, really well. And it has absolutely zero effect on the airbrushing. Airbrush is just absolutely wonderfully. I'll wait until some uh, water builds up into it. We'll uh, drain it and we will go from there. Generally, I'm very impressed with this. I highly recommend it. Even if you have multiple controls in place for moisture, you can never be too careful because there has been times when I've neglected the compressor. Large bursts of water have randomly just splattered out, ruining the paint. I think this is absolutely amazing for those who live in hot weather climates. Um, anything that has to do with humidity, high humidity in the air, winters, whatnot. So if you're having trouble with moisture in your line, this is a good second defense. Sparmax does one as well. Though at 20 something dollars and um, it eventually uh, developing a crack, I was not too impressed uh, by that that it needed to be repaired. This is two, three dollars, it's a throwaway item if it gets damaged. With the right amount of care, I don't see how that will happen, especially since the thread is uh, plastic, there is potential of it cracking. Look after it, and that will not be the case. It can be found on uh, eBay typing in um, airbrush uh, parts or water traps. I'll put uh, a link down in some search terms to uh, help you all. In the end, I did not get any moisture in it whatsoever and uh, am more or less uh, pleased with it. Do highly recommend it. It just makes that extra effort that uh, pretty much protects you from things that may ruin uh, your finish or your models might not be relevant for some people in countries, highly relevant for others, especially if your airbrush or compressor does not have a water trap or you're using a very cheap rig, uh, this can make all the difference. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time stay tuned for further content. We've got a Facebook account where we have regular updates and work in progress pitches. Twitch, I go in there occasionally for live streaming and a Patreon, a tip jar only if you're inclined. Stay tuned for more airbrushing, reviews and tutorials. Catch you guys later. 
leave comments down below if you have a question. I always um, answer anything that is phrased as a question. See you later.